This is one of multiple videos discussing SDN, network programmability, network automation, overlays and related technologies. Another very popular software-defined networking trend is software-defined WAN. Here's an example of Cisco purchasing another company specifically for their SD-WAN solution. Cisco already have a product called iWAN. So Cisco have now purchased a additional product in this space. SD-WAN applies software-defined networking concepts to the WAN or wide area network. In the past, companies used Frame Relay for their wide area connections. Then they moved to MPLS. These days, the internet is good enough that you can send a lot of traffic across the internet or public cloud rather than sending it across a more expensive MPLS network. STX Central have this definition that software-defined wide area network or SD-WAN is a specific application of SDN technologies applied to WAN connections, which are used to connect enterprise networks. So the idea with SD-WAN is that traffic can be dynamically controlled and some traffic sent through the MPLS network while other traffic is sent dynamically through the internet cloud. Rather than using static VPNs and policy-based routing, a controller can be used centrally to forward some traffic across the MPLS network so as an example, low latency applications such as voice and video could be sent through the MPLS network, whereas other traffic could be forwarded across the internet. Centralized controllers, as an example, will have better visibility of applications traversing the WAN. They can stop asymmetric routing and dynamically forward traffic across different network paths. An SD-WAN solution could use an overlay where traffic is sent through various tunnels that are dynamically formed. But the net result is that it's easier to manage the forwarding of traffic across wide area networks. It can be controlled through a graphical user interface and an easy to use interface, allowing for better management and less resources and saving companies money by sending some traffic across expensive links, but other traffic across less expensive links. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.